We're here in Buenos Aires, Argentina. At this point, probably impatiently awaiting the arrival of our trucks. We've been here, at least I've been here, for about three weeks. Some people have been here for close to a month. The trucks actually arrived in Buenos Aires on the 26th of August. Here it is, the 12th of September. Uh, I've been down to Customs or the shipping company at least probably eight to nine times trying to get the trucks. All have been unsuccessful. I've spent the last three weeks coming in and out of this office probably about 10 times. Hopefully today is the last day I have to come in here. A lot of the times I just have to make do with my limited Spanish so I understand a little over half of what's going on trying to figure out how to get these trucks. Eh? Tenemos que. Esperar, ahora van a se llevaron, van a verlo con el jefe y a ver qué, qué nos dicen y a partir de ahí nos vamos a aduana y hablamos con aduana. Vamos a tratar de llevarle todos los papeles bien, que nos den todo. ¿Ok? Ok. Uh, but at the end of it, I always understand that we're not getting them today. Uh, it protects uh, some interests. Politicians, companies. Yeah. See, the democracy is not really running at full speed. <clears throat> Populism doesn't work. So, here we are, in three weeks. I'm optimistic that things are gonna, something's gonna happen. Just what that thing is, I'm not too sure. Well, we're going to customs and we're basically gonna start from scratch. And hopefully the Apostille document we have now is gonna appease all of their interests and needs and wants, and we'll be able to get our cars. The only catch is once they have all the documents that they feel are acceptable, they need to put it into a computer system, and that computer system doesn't post until midnight tonight. So that means we can't, at the earliest, we can't get the cars until tomorrow. But there could be potentially some other problems because then once the information gets posted to the computer system, the police have 24 hours to decide if they want to mess with us. No. So I guess we'll just go from there. We're going to go down and get a cab and go to customs. <laughs> well, finally, after almost one month, we have the trucks. Yeah. Get them tomorrow and we can be on our way and drive. Thanks to Alejandro for all his help. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> when it ends up turning into be a whole month, excitement starts to go away and turn into despair, which I think is probably the entire crew can agree is where we're at. It's just despair right now. Wake up around 10 o'clock, 9, 10 o'clock, generally after a night out, um, maybe getting back to the dorms three, four in the morning. And then we sit down, have some breakfast, and then we do some work, potter around a bit more, go out. Then the day continues on exactly the same as it did the day before, and the day before that, and the day before that. Nothing really seems to change much. Days are blending into one another. Like everyone else has said, it's just been one week turning into the next week, and every day is the day before. Um, and actually right now, I don't even feel like showering it's kind of like pointless because the showers are so gross. The favorite part is that there's a leak in the bottom of the toilet and so you're pretty much walking in other people's urine every time you use the bathroom. That's my favorite. We've been uh, avoiding trying to pay a $1,500 bribe. We've had some attorneys working on our behalf. We've basically have all the official documents we need for our truck, but in Argentina, it's not official enough for some reason. Everything needs to be at Escadania. That's like a fortress here. It's like I'm going to like a bookie. I know it's so hard for me to actually grasp the concept of what we're doing right now. It's really difficult to explain. Um, I'm, we're essentially giving permission to ourselves 
to drive our cars in Argentina. To make it a little bit more legitimate, I'm giving Steve permission to drive in Argentina, and he's giving me permission. I, every day there's something new that I don't even understand, but every time there's something new, there's some sort of fee associated with it. So, I don't know. It's really sickening, to be quite honest. Ah, uh, it's the first time I've seen a Sequoia in two months. I've been sitting here all lonely at the dock. 